$800 million bond proposal comes as a new report shows Kansas City's financial health ranks near the bottom of the largest U.S. cities. Well, 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock is here now to break down what all this means, Andy. Mike and Krista, the biggest issue is long-term debt. In fact, debt is a big reason why that new report ranks Kansas City 101st out of the 116 largest U.S. cities in financial health. And now city leaders want you to pony up $800 million for infrastructure. It's not sexy, it's not pretty, but it's absolutely essential to the quality of making sure that this remains a first-class city. Mayor Sly James is talking about repairing Kansas City's roads, bridges, and sidewalks with a new $800 million bond. He says not only is it important, but every citizen satisfaction survey puts those infrastructure needs at the top of the list. These are the things that people have been complaining about in Kansas City for years, decades even, and we have an opportunity to address that here. But according to a new report from the California Policy Center published in the Fiscal Times, Kansas City ranks 101st out of the 116 largest U.S. cities in financial health. The reason? Debt. And the city has been warned about this for years. This is not just something new that's popped up on the radar. One example, the mayor's 2012 Commission on Revenue found Kansas City's per-resident debt was the highest compared to eight other peer cities at more than $3,300 per person. More than St. Louis, more than Denver, and well above the national average of $1,948. That same mayor's commission noted about a similar bond proposal five years ago, which was not approved, quote, the city needs a disciplined approach to funding infrastructure maintenance or risk facing the same costly backlog again. Patrick Tuohy of the Show Me Institute points to projects like the streetcar and giving tax breaks to developers as part of the reason for the high debt. People get elected to city council and they apparently imagine themselves as railroad tycoons or hotel magnets uh, when really their job is to cut the grass and repair the roads. And if we don't do it today, it'll be twice as much in 10 years. Now, according to the nonprofit Tax Foundation, Kansas City's taxes are also relatively high. It's one of the few cities with an earnings tax. The proposed bond would be repaid with an increase in property taxes, which a Brookings Institute report notes also are high. A city spokesman says their finance experts and bond markets are comfortable with the $800 million proposal. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News. Andy, thanks. When pushing for this property tax increase, city leaders reference New York City. It has 8.2 million people to compare to Kansas City, which has just under 500,000. But why compare the two cities? Well, New York City is about 304 square miles. We're talking about land mass. Kansas City, meanwhile, is 319, meaning Casey is technically larger than New York City. But, of course, New York City has millions more taxpayers to help pay for the upgrades.